Okay, hi, we're back. Um, so I am going to just take you. So, okay, I finished up my warm yellows, my cadmium yellow medium. Um, I, I did want to show you the cool reds now, right? I have my warm red, my cadmium red light already painted in. That's pretty straightforward. It's pretty opaque. It's, it's fairly um, quick to do. Um, you want to make sure you do a hair dryer, obviously. Um, quinacridone red, which is your cool red, is a real pain, I have to say. Um, you probably are looking at may at least three coats, maybe even four coats to get a nice, even, opaque um, surface. And even then, it may not look so even, right? I mean, you want it, I, th I think you can get it to be pretty even at that point. You will. I I'm using a smaller brush here um, simply because that's what I have on hand right now. Um, you will probably have better luck using a larger flat brush, your, like your one inch or whatever. Um, and just probably using a little bit more paint than I'm using. So I'll show you, you'll see in a second how temperamental it is. It's very um, transparent. So here's our cadmium red, uh, sorry, quinacridone red, uh, very transparent, okay? Um, I, I have it in a squeeze bag, right, in a like just a plastic bag. You can do the same thing with plastic wrap. Look at how transparent that is, oh, crazy. It's almost like watercolor. So you're just going to, you know, I think the thing to do is to probably more so than I have done is to concentrate rather than to, trying to get coverage is just to get a, um, you know, smooth surface, right? Like that is fine. Um, and then dry it, right, uh, with your hair dryer. And again, you'll probably have better luck with a sing, you know, with a larger brush. Oops doing that single thing. Sorry about that. Weird glitch. All right. Okay. And I believe then at this, oh, come on, Lise. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I can't leave well enough alone. All right. So we, we, okay. Now we hair dryer it, right? You know that process. Make sure that you give it enough time. Here we go for our second coat. You'll, you'll get a fair amount of buckling in the paper. It's it's okay. I mean, that's going to make your application a little bit weirder and uneven, you know, a little less even. Keep going with that. Hair dryer it again. Right, keep going. Test it every once in a while, but don't get your fingers everywhere um, on the rest of your paper. Okay. And then finally, do I do that? I might do one more coat after this. I can't remember. It might be in a different video. At least three coats. Um, and again, this is where that bigger brush will serve you better than what I'm doing. It's just, um, it's too small. It's just going to make it a little bit more even, uneven at this point. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. All right. So that is it for the quinacridone red. Just be aware. It's so much different. So expect this as you go. And try just, you know, just be patient. Use the hair dryer, hair dryer, hair dryer. Okay, again, if you don't have one and you can't borrow one from somebody, um, invest, what is it, like 10 bucks and get the one on Amazon. Um, or, you know, you can pick it up at a drugstore or whatever. It doesn't have to be expensive. You know, the Amazon one is pretty cheap. So, okay. Um, all right, on to the next video.